In this video, I'm gonna go over the modular power generation system of refined power mod. And this modular power plant produces 1200 megawatts of power from an input of 120 volt per minute. So it's beginner friendly. In order to get access to these components, you will need the tier 3 milestones of modular power generation and carbon refining. Once you have both of these milestones unlocked, then you'll get access to all of the different components including the three types of platforms. The boiler platform, converter platform and the cooling platform. Now all of these platforms, they have arrows indicating the direction of any component which will be placed on these platforms B. So let's make the boiler platform face the front and then we can start placing down our two components on top of this which is going to be the heater and the boiler. So placing down the boiler platform and then you can also use the biomass heater however for automation coal heater is recommended. Now the coal heater consumes 15 coal per minute and its maximum temperature can go all the way up to 500 degrees celsius. Also after every operation it's going to produce carbon dioxide gas. We will need to get rid of this otherwise the operation will shut. Now it says that the boiler is not attached so let's change that by placing down a boiler on top of this heater. And with those nice connections made, now the error message from both the heater and the boiler will go away as we have attached the two of these. Now for basically providing water to this boiler cause it's gonna take water and it's going to produce high pressure steam. You can of course use the water extractor however with the lack of water in the grassy field which always surprises me considering this is grassy fields, uh, there are certain alternatives which you can use. I am going to use the water drill from the fluid sinks mod. And this one produces 72 cubic meters of water per minute and the boiler it only requires 45 cubic meters of water per minute. So it's more than enough to basically supply this one boiler. I'm going to connect the pipe like this and with that the boiler should now start filling up with water. So if we check in the GUI here you can see water and while that's happening let's also start supplying coal to the heater. Because it takes a while before it starts producing steam. Its temperature needs to go up. And I think that limit is uh, 180 degrees Celsius. And after that temperature, it's uh, it will basically heat the boiler enough to produce steam. So now we are producing CO2. And uh, it comes out from the front of the heater. In order to get rid of this, place down the cooling platform. And on this cooling platform, we place down a CO2 chimney. Now this has a capacity of 150 cubic meters per minute. However, a single coal heater will only produce 30 cubic meters per minute. So it's more than enough to get rid of all of the CO2. And here you can see that it turns on and then it turns off because we are not producing enough CO2 to keep it running continuously, which is actually what we want so that the system doesn't back up at any point. Now here we have started producing high pressure steam. So let's take that steam and do something with it. There comes the converter platform and you can see that this one is larger than the other platforms that we placed now. This is because it is going to house two components in front of each other. Those components are the turbine and the low voltage generator which is what you are going to have access to in this stage of the game. So here we have placed down the turbine mark 1. This one is going to take the high pressure steam. It has uh, the indicator for the RPM and then it's going to convert it into low pressure steam which is another component which we will need to get rid of. So that's the turbine placed and now before placing the low voltage generator. If you are doing this like me and you have the early hover pack mod, make sure to remove it. Because the hover pack will try to draw power from the turbine, it won't be able to provide it initially and this will constantly make the fuse trip. So here the internal buffer of the boiler is completely full so we can attach it to the turbine. This will make sure that the high pressure steam flows into it, its RPM will start going up and now I will remove the hover pack and place down the low voltage generator. Now you will see that the shaft starts spinning and this doesn't really have much of a downtime. It will start producing power fairly early. So the RPM will go up all the way to 10,000 and with that max RPM we will produce a maximum power of 150 megawatts. So here you can see a nice smooth graph and it will peak out at 150 megawatts. And now it's safe to put the early hover pack back on so that I can show you this a little better. And there we have the little 10 megawatt consumption from the hover pack. So that's a single module for this modular power plant setup. 
takes 15 coal and converts it into 150 megawatts of power. Also, let's place down another cooling platform with the chimney for the low pressure steam. And with that done, now the steam cooling tower has a capacity of uh, I think 300 cubic meters per minute and we are producing 60 cubic meters per minute. So once again, this will shut down and start again. It's the same thing with the CO2 chimney. All right, so now let's see how we scale this system. I have 120 coal from this pure coal node here, and this is getting load balanced into a total of eight coal generators. And uh, you might want to have a stack of coal which you can put in them so that they can start heating up early. Also, we have eight boilers on top of them. And in order to provide water, I have used a total of five of these water drills. Now, each water drill, as I said, gives 72 cubic meters per minute. Each boiler requires 45. So it's a total of 360 water. The same thing that we have with the coal generators, where you use eight coal generators and combine them with the three of the water extractors. So that's 360 waters coming into those pipes. And with that, we are producing high pressure steam, which goes into these eight set of turbine and the low voltage generators. Now we have paired these coal generators in four and four of the coal generators produces 120 cubic meters of CO2, which can be easily handled by a single CO2 chimney. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really run on max capacity. And the same thing goes for these turbines, where four of them are paired together producing 240 cubic meters of low pressure steam. And this one can then go in a cooling tower, where yeah, it will once again turn on and turn off. Now, the way this is designed, you can run five of these on single chimney, the CO2 chimney and the cooling tower. However, it's not recommended. The 4 to 2 ratio is pretty good. Now, for some alternatives on these water drills, you can use the pool from the water pool redux mod. You can place this pool anywhere and in the pool, you can place down a water extractor, the normal one. And uh, that way you won't really have to use five of these water drills, which consume a total of 100 megawatt. However, I really like how the entire thing is set up. It looks pretty clean and uh, the way pipes and everything connect. Yeah, it's pretty symmetric. So yeah, I really like the way water drills look in this setup. And that is why I am going to use water drills and not the normal fluid extractors. So yeah, that is the entire setup here. I hope this video helped you. If you want more refined power videos, uh, make sure to leave comments down below and I will be sure to make them. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys the next time. Till then, peace out and stay safe.